All right, everybody. Today we're going to be looking at the Big Lot 60 inch LED spider web. I've wanted this thing for a couple years. Um, I have two of the large spiders from um, um, Home Depot, and I actually got another one on the way, but I think I'm going to cancel that. Don't really need three of them, but we'll see. Beside the point. Anyway, I wanted this to go with uh, my spiders. Um, last year, I heard there was a lot of problems with these. Uh, not necessarily from Big Lots, but from Sam's. Um, supposedly, if you left them on, they would catch on fire. Or if you left them on for um, for a you know, little amount of time, substantial amount of time, um, certain parts of the... Uh, web would you know burn out so let's hope those don't happen let's hope in those problems have been fixed um this was 80 bucks i had a um 25 percent um i don't know discount code from big lots so i decided to go ahead and pull the trigger um so this is your box um i'm still working from inside my house because i'm still but Thank the Lord. I think I've finally gotten over the COVID hump and I'm on my way better. Um, but because I'm still kind of confined to the house, um, do not have my tripod. So going to be doing um, a lot of uh, stop and go here with this build and hopefully it won't be too much. Um, but anyway, so here's your box. There's nothing all the way around it um, for you box people. Uh just, you know, just writing. So no more pictures or anything. Um, and I've went ahead and opened it. And this is what what's inside. Um, a big triangle that's very heavily uh, protected with uh, the little thin plastic bubble wrap. And a container of stakes, screws, and instructions. So I am going to pause and get this out of its protective container and catch back up with you in a second. All right, guys, so I've got it laid out here. Um, what you do, you lay it all out. Uh, sorry about my little uh, dots and walking through there. Anyway, um, you lay it out and it has it marked C to C. And, you know, and so forth. A to A, B to B. That's how you line up your five sections. Or four sections. Four sections, my bad. All right, then what I'm going to do next, I'm going to take this wing nut and see these? I'm going to overlap all of them and use this wing nut and connect them. All right, so let me do that real quick and I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, I got it standing up because for some reason it doesn't, it's not, you know, saying to put the stand on it yet. Although it's saying, um, all right, first off, there's where I put the bolt through the center to co collect them all together and put the wing nut on it. Um, also, before I was supposed to do that, and I did it that way, uh, but forgot to mention it to you guys, there's four areas where the they meet, you know, the B to B and A to A, that also has a bolt. Um, let me back up so that'll. So there's four of those. So you connect those, um, and then put the center piece in according to the directions. Now, what it wants me to do, and I've already done it with the one spider, um, but the spiders are labeled. Um, Make sure you put them in the correct label, it says. Um, but as you can see, they're labeled. And you slide the little tines on the back of the spider down in there. And then you connect the cord from the spider to the cord from the web. Now, this particular one is not wanting to go slide into there. It is not going gently into that good night. So, I did the top one. And I'm showing you real quick, and I've already um, uh, uh, attached it. I don't like how visible that is, but I'm hoping it'll blend when everything is on. So I'm going to try and uh, 
connect this bottom one and um, move on to the next step, which I'm hoping, since I've got it leaned up in my dining room thing, is connect the base to hold it up. Alrighty, let me work on that and I'll get back to you. Okay guys, just gonna catch up real quick before I stand this thing up. You have two pieces of metal for your stand. Um, the bottom piece has this that slides into here. And your top piece has these little turns. So how do you figure out um, where to put them? I just turned mine over, found these little ones, and then you'll see the insert piece on the bottom of one of your spider legs. Also, I wanted to point out at the top of your spider web, which is neat, I'm glad they did this, you have two metal hooks up here that if you didn't want to use a stand and you want to hang it, that's what you use. And I think that's awesome. Um, so anyway, I attached, attached it here, here. Um, these two are just held together with the one zip tie. They give you a whole bunch of zip ties because they want you to zip tie all these pieces together to add stability. I'm not doing that right now because I'm not sure I'm going to keep this together until Halloween. But that's what you do. All right, so I think I'm ready to stand it up and uh, turn it on. Let's see what it does. All right, be right back. All right, everybody, here's your finished product. A um, couple of things. I really hadn't thought about what color the web would be. For some reason in my mind, I just thought it was going to be purple. And by that same token, I didn't think about if the spiders, what color they were going to be. Quite honestly, I wasn't going to put the spiders on there. Um, but once I saw they were light-up spiders, I went ahead and added them. So here's what we got. We have, and I'm sitting here looking at it through the camera. It looks like white um, lights. It is not. They are extremely orange. Um, very much pumpkin-y very much Halloween-y, uh, perfect orange. So that is good. And you can tell that the spiders are purple. So, so here it is. Um, I don't have the zip ties on it. Like I said, I, I don't know if I'm going to keep it together. So I, I didn't do that, but it's still pretty stable in and of itself without the uh, extra stability. <clears throat> Excuse me. So anyway, um, I'm digging it. So as long as it doesn't burn the house down, I think I'm going to hang it. So house, tree, or whatever I decide to put it on, I think it's going to be a nice back behind the gargantuan spider's piece. So anyway, I like it. It's big lot. If you enjoy it, um, I suggest purchasing it. Um, and it's just as cool as the HD bat, if any of y'all got that. So I'm going to give it... Um, I'm going to give it seven cauldrons out of ten, and I'm I'm not going to give it eight, and I'll tell you why. It's because of what it is. Um, not a true animatronic. It's a light, you know, decoration, so I'm going to treat it as such. So that's going to be about seven. It's going to be about as high as I'm going to give anything like this. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is still coming and going as I try to, to slowly get better. But anyway, there is uh, the Home Depot spider web, 7 out of 10 cauldrons. Um, feeling better every day. Um, was hoping to be able to put the Home Depot werewolf together for you guys today. It doesn't look like that's going to happen today. No, I'm feeling better, but uh, I don't think I have an enemy to do that because I will have to be building that as I do most of mine by myself, and I don't think I have that energy. So... I will get that video up uh, as quickly as possible, so please uh, keep watching and looking out, and sorry for the delay in that. Alrighty, well, there she is. Everybody stay bubbly, and I'll catch you next video.